That's pretty good. I, I heard the okay, yep. Alright, here we go. We got it. all goes to zero. I'm just gonna call him zero. Just cause cause that sounds edgy and really cool as hell. Alright. So we got Gengar versus Machamp here. Really fun matchup. Definitely in Gengar's favor, I think. In my opinion. I think it's gonna be six four for Gengar. But let's see what Haru House is gonna make work of it. I do know that all goes to zero is a is a newer player, but he does know his stuff though. Like he hasn't been to many uh many weeklies here but I was actually playing friendlies with them earlier and you really do some work here but Haru Hazu he's gonna get that first counter there taking that feels like oh the rolling X he's gonna get that tick throw real nasty uh, Haru Hazu is the champ he is a little more uh, a little more unsafe a little, a little different than mine he, he has uh, he definitely goes for a lot more throws but then again all goes to zero does the exact same thing with his Gengar. You know, you, you typically see like a Gengar's, you know, they, they often do a lot of safer moves, but you see right there, he went for that 50-50 mix-up right there, going for that grab. A little risky there, because like, he can definitely get blown up, like he actually could have very close to died if uh, Alvarazu 8 x that. But he's getting the advantage right here, getting, getting all those zero in the corner. Guess that submission was not bulked up though. Alright, AY working now. Calling out the Rotom. Says you don't get the jump today. I would grab that. He goes for 2XX. They're just showing each other. Trading blow for blow. Wow, Haru Hazu just had the health. Just the little tanky boy he is. Rage champion. He can't die that easy. He just had the health to just survive all of it. We're going to bring in the round two. He's going to go for bulk up. Right, zero getting that shadow punch. Okay, shadow ball. That combo. Ooh. Goes for that JY. Doesn't get the combo. But he will get that tick throw. Only a little bit of damage. No bulk up. Right, going straight into birds. He wants to press all of his advantage and he can. Sitting here plus. Now this is going to hurt. Bang. All right. There's one submission away right now. If he gets another submission, I'm going to be really happy and upset at the same time. Alright, he's plus. He's gonna win this exchange, I think. Yes, he will. Uh, don't think it's gonna kill though, but that's gonna that's, that's gonna hurt. Alright, this is gonna be the next mix. Oh, he, oh ex God. excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> I I was about to be like, what's the next mix-up? Death, that is a mix-up. He died. <laughs> Harvard House is taking game one there. Pretty convincingly too. Let's see what kind of adjustments Mr. Zero here can make. Let's see if he can uh, see if he can make this work. I want to see a lot more low stancing out of him. Like there are a couple cases there where Harlow Housley was, you know, using counter. Where Gengar he can just low stance the counter, and he also press a two X or two Y, anything to really just low profile that. That's gonna that's gonna cut off a lot of Harlow Housley's game plan there as well. And see, I also want to see like a lot more, uh, a lot more retreating movement. And a lot more defensive options coming out from Z. Like he was pressing shield, sure, but like there, there's some other ways that he can uh, definitely get out of the situation. And in some cases, just reverse the sh situation so it gets him on top. They're going for the shadow punch. Oh yeah, counter getting that there. The champ counter really good. Oh, it just could, did not time the instant, just the air grab correctly. He's gonna get that JX bread and butter combo. But yeah, one part that does suck about this matchup here for Gengar is that you know each mistake, man, does it count? Because your health just goes away. Oh, he six wide. Ooh. He says you you can't press buttons on me. And he got press buttons on. And that's another thing right there that uh Zero's, he doesn't know his uh his bread and butter optimal combos yet. Well, I mean, which is fine. But I think once he gets that, he's gonna get a lot more reward out of each of the. Out of each of the exchanges that he's getting, he's gonna get, he's gonna find himself doing a lot better here. But he gets that shadow punch. He's getting a really good lead right here, actually. We got him champ in a bad spot. He's gonna get this combo. We got one more reset. Okay, you know this guy. How much has he been playing Gengar? Because he looks like he already knows basic shenanigans. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> like he, he hasn't come to many brackets, but he definitely plays this game quite a bit. Oh, so okay. he, he knows all the, he knows all the, all the good basic stuff there. He's definitely working to you know, improve and become even better. 
Oh, yeah. Bad trade from there, but I do agree with going with the uh, homing attack. I think in any any instance that you see Machamp jump into the face, you can just press homing attack as Gengar, and you'll, you'll uh, clash at worst, basically. Let your guard down. Get that DX. Yeah, hard, hard, he's pressing buttons here. A bit early on the grab. Mm -hmm, you get hypnosis once, he actually gets one. Yeah. It's a Gengar. Calming down now. I'm pretty sure Gengar can punish that. I, I think he can. Maybe, maybe oh, he has like, you know, T-Rex arms. Oh, he's gonna hit by that. That's, that's the ground right there. I don't think Synergy's gonna help him there, yeah. yeah. That hurts for him a lot, actually, because now he's not going to have Burst for this round 3. Now, how do you think about Rotom as a support? He used it at the worst time possible, I first. But mm -hmm. other than that, if Farah has is the type of person you don't have, I think it's that Yeah. I, I think there are better supports than uh, Rotom here, but I, I think it's just what he's comfortable with at the moment. Well, he's going to get that counter, and he's going to get Oki here. Uh, just too early on the grab there. Like for the grab, you, you gotta make sure it doesn't really hit their shield first. You gotta either have it meaty or be it after the uh, shadow ball is done all his jump. Oh, the oh yeah, I can't go for that. There we go. He knows the has still a very strong lead though. Oh yeah. And guess what? This guy's got burst again. <laughs> what the hell? What did you do? Oh, cause he got the, the grab, I guess. Mm. No fear. Oh, that's gonna be huge for Haru. Oh, that, right. that's got him. Yep. He's not dead, is he? No, he's not. But it's gonna hurt a lot. Let's the chance. Alright, back to even game. Ouchies. That is actually a pretty even game. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrifying. Oh, with Rotom though? Okay, this is kinda scary. Nice cancel with the shield. He's plus with this counter. Whoa, he gets uh, the hypnosis! Uh, oh my Jesus! <laughs> living. Ah! Oh, nice. Good call by Haru. Gets oh. the tick, bro. I think he's still living though. Oh, he dies! Oh, man! With two HP! <laughs> Yo, Howard that was really clutch there. Man. Just scared. Just scared. All goes to zero. Just just a little much. Like, all goes to zero. He did a really good job there. Like, both, good job to both of these players, by the way. But, uh, he could He did have some opportunities. He could press a little more buttons. He could have gotten out of the situations. He's just not used to that. Not used to those situations yet. And get out of them. But, definitely really good stuff. He's